in one direction or the other. We gotta we gotta decide. We're gonna we gonna go the diplomatic route or we're gonna That's go what I'm trying to fucking, do. Yeah, murder and pillaging because yeah. <laughs> and if you're, so, you're then we have to a lot we gotta set up some the diplomatic route. Yeah. 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 Especially for you as an orc, unfortunately, because yeah, this so. this country is Race obviously pillaging. full of racists. Kind of cool. Yes. Battle. Glorious deaths and oh, no. all that fun stuff. Oh, I never have to deal with my parents' shame again. Ooh. <laughs> now I get to go chill up in Bal Valhalla and drink a freaking udder of mead. <laughs> Maybe I can go party with Bogus forever. I don't know what happens after I die. I don't really care. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sure something happens. I'll that's, figure it out when I get that. Or dead nothing Sally's happens. Problem. I'm even better. <laughs> I'm be done with this nightmare. <laughs> Free from this accursed prison. <laughs> Yeah, the official reveal, Roy is indeed your handler. Yeah, what the fuck? Why do you have a handler? Are you oh, on Roy probation? Is the handler? Or Don. No. Oh. oh, is it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's weird that you guys got a couple, you know, you saw him, but also he showed up at the bridge. I don't know. I could have been at the same time. Could have been. Is like, I honestly, at color? this point, I'm like, I think I've reached the point where I definitely think that Roy is not Don. Really? I ever, hold, on, really? hold on, hold on. Are you sure? My reasoning for that. Ian slips up and tells us that Roy is reason, Don three seconds see, ago. I did not say that. that my, was, reason, that was a my reason for saying that Freudian is because slip. we've, we've been pushing wrong. that. And now Ian has wrong. started. Ian has wrong. started to like be like, I don't know, is he? As opposed to, as opposed to like when we first started, it was kind of like a what. Now it's just like I don't know, is he? And I really feel like that's something that we just begin strung along with. But you know, if he is, Ian is never to be trusted. Exactly. <laughs> I'm here to help you guys. No, you're not. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> hey, man. I am nothing more than a facilitator. <laughs> I create the world and you do what you wish with it. <laughs> I have faith in God. Why? No, absolutely not. He is a cruel God, but he is ours. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I'm an atheist. troops. <laughs> <laughs> How many wars would have been avoided if we were all just atheists? It's okay. At the table, you do not have to believe in me as God because I certainly do not believe in you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Welcome back to Mad King, everybody. Hello. Boy, where did we uh, where did we just leave off a couple? Of God, who ago? fucking knows? It's gonna man. be a good couple day difference for the YouTube folks, so I always feel like I owe just a little bit of a. A recap? This is our anime a recap? recap. There's, there was two sister reveals. Yep. Zelly's got a sister. Uzel's got a sister. Had a sister. Apparently. That he didn't know about. Didn't even know about. Half sister, more likely. How old is Uzel? I do believe Uzel is only 22. Y'all fucking babies. To think that your father kept that secret know, for right? at least 22 years. But you, know? you do know because your mom was a little older than you, nicer, forty-seven than your father was. But per I'm a gnome. Se. Oh yeah, absolutely. Dad was low-key a dick. Yeah, well, twenty-five. Really not low-key. He was <laughs> maybe the man I am today. Hard. Yeah, he was. He was. Uh, by someone with individual. true trauma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm me. stronger for it. He your your mom tells stories of your today. dad romancing her for like years before you came along. Yeah, stereotypical narcissist. It's the love bombing that comes before the ass <laughs> story. Oh no, it seems, it seems that for the most part, You're you know, when they're together, he couldn't be happier. Oh god. Yeah, we will fuck it. We'll see. We'll see what he has to say about it. Yes, we will. Making a very bad breed right now. That's fine. Just, just frizzing everything. <laughs> It's okay. Shh, Don't stop now. It's too late. I'm not stopping. Keep going. We're, we're going. We're going to finish this. You guys gather uh, all your folk. Bring the gals, too, to the Bailey and everything. And yeah. Um, I'm passing my out. Yeah, you're, you're done, done. Yeah, we'll I'm send word for anybody who is <laughs> currently hiding out in Not Quite Bronze if they want to move to Bronze. Um... 
Jimmy kind of sighs and he's like, that's going to be me who runs that message, isn't it? Well, I mean, you have to go back anyways, don't you? You have a town to run back there. Oh, yeah, I know. I was just... Can I leave in, like, the morning at least? Well, yeah. I thought it was morning when we came back. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, he'll head out. Yeah, because we were just running the guard, right? And this one was asleep, and this one was doing whatever the fuck he yeah. was doing. Yeah, we don't so... need to recap that. Also sleep? <laughs> oh, God. I don't like your implication. I don't like that. I did that. not do that. It's hard to say... Thank you. For me? Yes. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. 14. You do not awaken in the morning. Ah. Uh, as you guys are kind of shuffling around, you just uh -huh. kind of spread out amongst the barracks, maybe some of the nicer quarters to a couple of you, but it's Ellie probably just found, was found a bunk. If that. <laughs> uh, in the bunk next to her that was empty, the previous morning, there is now a young girl that looks starkingly similar. Fuck! Laying in the bed, sleeping. Okay. Well, I'm out doing shit in the morning, so... Yeah, no, okay, no, you don't no, ever come way. back to here? Well, uh, to, like, the, the Bailey? Yeah. No, not, not, not for the... Not for the foreseeable day? Uh, yeah, there's defenses that need to be built, families to talk to, okay. fucking... You got some busy city to inspections do. to do. So Raymond yeah. will meet you in the morning awesome. to assist with some of this because awesome. he has experience in running a domain, not necessarily a full on barony. But awesome! I'm gonna go mob mentality. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, you just follow after. Yeah. There's some other people, you know, sauntering around. That kobold's still here. Mm, he's still following. No, no, he, no. he's he's. Just seems to be kind of wandering around the barracks at this point. He just seemed to have lost interest in you. All the girls are around. Well, there's still a bunch of people in Mark's prison. still hanging. There? Yeah, there's still a good chunk of folk in the prison. You could always go prison. kill those rapists. You could. That would probably be a, a decent thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, fuck There was also paperwork <laughs> all yeah. of them that you could, like, read through to see their crimes. Yeah. Judge, jury, and executioner. Judge, jury, executioner, baby. Is yeah. it outside of his character? Though? You go, you go, <laughs> thin the herd. No, uh, I actually, yeah. one of my gods, I'm going to pick up his tear, so. <laughs> yep, there you go. The law bringer. Yeah, you, you know, Let's uh, read some. Go expedite some judiciary processes. Yeah. There's some, there's some nasty folk in there. There's a couple murderers. There's the rapists. There's abusers, different. And then there's, you know, like, caught drunk, thrown in the tank for the night kind of guys okay. and stuff. Yeah. There's, oh, ran around town butt naked, said it was a dare, but none of his friends could be found to confirm it. Uh, Streaking! Yeah. What that guy go? <laughs> you go talk to him and he's just like, thanks, man. Look, you got to understand. It was an organized event. They were all there. I was supposed to, like, lead the thing. It was supposed to be, like, you know, like, you know, like a fun run. Right, but it was supposed to be naked. It was it was gonna be a silly little thing. And then I turned around, stripped down, and started the jog. I thought they were all behind me. Hmm. Where did you run to? Oh, right oh down Main God. Hall. Or just right yeah, down it was it, it was gonna it, it started just you know outside Bailey Gate, <laughs> okay. and it was gonna go outside the gate, <laughs> circle town, and then back. Oh, absolutely. They always did that. Yeah. I thought you know maybe I was gonna make it like an annual thing. Sure, man. You live here? Yeah. yeah. Of course. Born in town. You trying to leave? Trying to leave town? Yeah. Do I... Am I exiled? Is that what you're saying? No. Oh. They don't then, know. You no. Know, you know I, anything that just happened? Uh, no. <sighs> Town's under new ownership. Okay. Yeah. Like, they sent a new guy to replace Jeff? No, like, no longer Matt King. Oh. Okay, well, like, I just sometimes work part-time over at the blacksmithy and do labor work for Maze, the construction guys. Yeah, you still trying to do that? I mean, yeah. Here? I don't know about, I, I might find different employment other than Maze, though. They were all supposed to, you know, the, it was my coworkers that originally, yeah. it was their idea. Cool. And we were trying to make like a new holiday, man. But and then they, they it just turned out they were Listen, man, pranking me. You're good for now. If I hear anything about a man running naked through the streets again, I'm gonna fucking cut your head off. Oh. 
Right, like me specifically, or like the dude who's doing it? That's quite Like extreme. if anybody runs naked down the street, you're going to cut my head off? No, you specifically. Oh, okay. You don't got to worry. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to fall for that one again. Cool. All right, get the fuck out of here. I thought maybe you'd think it was a cool holiday idea, too. And yeah, he kind of stumbles. <laughs> he kind of heads out. Yeah. Head hung low. Borrowed tavern. <laughs> Basically a potato sack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How many prisoners are there in total? Like uh, Maybe 15, 16. Okay. Uh... Yeah, all the rapists are going to die. Yeah, the, the one. Yeah, he's going to die. Uh, you said there's abusers? Yeah. A couple domestic disputes. Domestic disputes? Fuck! A couple aggravated assault folk. I encouraged a monster. <laughs> mm. One okay. child abuse case. Child Bro. abuse? I'm going to talk to that guy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's this just kind of older burly guy kind of got that like old muscle mm. bald sitting there and he's just kind of looks up at you and goes uh, yes so why'd you do it do what you what you're in here for look it it was within the law just two three years ago i didn't know they changed it so that you couldn't use the cane anymore <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> the cane? They didn't make an announcement. Yeah, just a couple years ago, it was the rule of thumb where the cane could be no wider than my thumb for disciplining my child. You sat here like, my family kills each other, but nobody beats children. <laughs> but apparently, three years ago, they changed it to open palm only. Yeah, I don't know if that's. I'm just gonna leave you in here. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Hey, just, like, make sure you update laws with the town criers. Because he was in the room where it was actually explained. He was in the cells with mm. Rug Nugget. All of them. He was in the line of cells. So it doesn't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> you get through that pretty quick. It doesn't take too terribly long. Yeah. You got the records for these guys and everything. And yeah. The couple that try to bullshit you, you just fold out the evidence and they're just kind of shut up from there. Yeah. Any of the, like, the people are like, you're trapped drunk, like, tell them what's going on. They'll be like, yeah. Yeah, and they're like, what a fucking crazy night. <laughs> and stuck <Fucking> out. <laughs> you're back at the barracks. You see the girl, the new girl. Okay. Well, I guess that worked out in its Ellie's favor. <laughs> Um, but she's not awake yet. I, I, she I, is not awake right now. Is your sister awake? I... Uh, no. Neither of them. Both asleep. Cool. I'm just going to let that sleeping dog die. I'm going to let somebody else deal with that. We can talk about it when... You no, know, so he's sniffing at her. Yeah. He kind of looks at you and he's like, New friend? Yes. I think. I wait. Okay. And he's going to crawl up into the bed with her. Uh, she might be a little surprised if you do that. Nah, new friend. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad you, you want to make friends. She's like sleeping buddy. on her side and he just yeah. kind of like goes over into that little pocket. Mm -hmm. Kind of trots around a little bit and he lays down and he just looks she's like, oh, it's so mm. Oh, and he just like nestles. No, no, come on. Come on, buddy. Let's, he's like, no, uh, no, 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 no. Why don't we go make some fre some food for your new friend? Oh. She's going to be hungry. She traveled so far. Who's going to make the food? We can't carry food. We can figure it out. I'm so cozy. I know. Fine. <laughs> he begrudgingly gets out. Don't. I know. We can go pick some flowers for her in the garden. Oh. Flowers. I like flowers. You can do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he heads out with you. Yeah. Talk him out of that one. <laughs> they would have been the best of friends. <laughs> Business. Oh, yeah. Logistical stuff. So, yeah. <clears throat> morning comes. Uh, 
First things first, I want to is the the town I'm crier did he uh did he did he get <laughs> No, there's still some town criers around. <laughs> okay. They have, don't necessarily work first for the government, first right? They do the local news and stuff. <laughs> get given I'm going to have uh, so oh, once morning time comes and when time cr when the town criers usually oh, start their uh, their business. The mm -hmm. Um I'm going to have them put out a call for any families Dude, of you gotta see me. any of the guards that unfortunately Wait, perished to, to come to the single brain cell between us. It's not Fuck a it, I guess come to the it's Bailey. Awesome. Uh okay, sir. You're then, or my lord? My lord. <laughs> Aaron. Sir is fine. Number three. Guy? Three, sir is fine. Three. S sir. And uh yeah. So I'll wait for Should we run the normal news cycle for today as well? Um, what, what's, what, what do you got for today? Um, on the news for today, uh, workers are to begin returning to the field um, for seeding of the spring crops. We have news of the jousting tournament in... Uh, just outside of Silvershire, uh, is beginning three days hence. Anything that is not imperatively necessary for these people to know, leave it out. Okay. They need a day. But put out that message about the families first. And the, uh, I would assume then the funeral in Braun in uh, Ironshire is cut. And this is how dictatorships start. You censor the media. <laughs> you don't give people access okay. to the outside world. Do you want us to tell the news carrier to just not bother for a while? Uh, the one like that travels between here and um, Ledshire usually. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he he can have a day off. We need to figure out all this first. <laughs> yeah, no, just let him be like. Okay. Yes. You know, can't have you know armies rushing in here too quickly. How many? How many of them do you want to take a day off? There's um, fourteen that run the cycle between, so that way new cycles each day. Well, I'm sure that the uh, Ledshire and Ironshire are going to get this news pretty quickly if they haven't gotten it already. Well, we only so, have um, a circuit with Ledshire currently. Well, I'm sure they already know what went down here, so just go ahead and tell the newsboys to have the day off. They can just hang out. Okay. As they come? Yeah. Sure. Until you just decide to start it up again. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Now I'll go to the Bailey and uh, wait for these families to arrive. Yeah. You've got a... Jimmy's not there. Got a quite a crew of folk around. All right, I'm gonna have Rag, Raymond. Ragtag group of pals. While I'm dealing with the families, <laughs> I'm gonna have Raymond run inspection <laughs> of the city here. of the Rag city defenses tag. and report back to me with inherent problems and hopefully Somewhere. an idea to fix those problems. But if not, that's fine. Just bring Rag problems to me and we'll figure it out. Okay. Um, let's see. Mark is here. Mark needs to hang out with me. I need to have a conversation with Mark after the family. Yeah, okay, man. Yeah. Um, Grugnug. You say his name and he just kind of like turns. Oh. He's got a corner of the barracks and he is currently piling sticks. The ragtag group of pals. No, that's you... a mouthful. RGTV. You just hang out RGTV. for a little bit. I might, I might have some things for you. Uh. Turns and keeps going about his stuff. <laughs> okay. Now is everybody, right? Uh, Derek is there. He's still crying. Derek is there. And at some point through the day, Lucian shows up. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, Derek, you just hang out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I'll talk with you later. Um, I mean, Lucian. Is down, but... What's up, buddy? Heard you helped. Oh, um, yeah, I was supposed to watch over the people of Hunter's Haven and, um, they decided to take to action, so. Much appreciated. Yeah, man, of course. So, what are you doing? Um, 
Your well, at the moment, <laughs> uh, like specifically at the moment, or in general? Yes. At the moment, I'm trying to get the families of the slain guards here. That way, I can honestly, if they want to leave, I want to be able to provide payment for them to go wherever they want. Because that particularly wasn't supposed to happen. But um, as far as in general goes, uh, I'm put it to you straight. Mad King is a fucking asshole. Yeah. You've seen the things that he does. Sure. So our little ragtag group is trying to get together to uh, try to help put a stop to it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We could always use more people. I know that you're thinking about moseying on, carrying on with. Uh, you got released from your druid duties, but. Oh well, yeah. I don't really have any work going Rick right top. now. Um, all that was going to gonna pull me up Rick north top. for breeding season. No. Ragtag group of after, pals. After no. that, we'd like to work with R G P O P. No. R R T. G -O -P. Sure. I can find you. Here, presumably, I don't want for the foreseeable future, yeah, because you know this is definitely. We kind of kicked a hornet's nest here, so we're gonna. You have a sending stone number, of course. Uh, yes. However, well, it's. I was told it's very limited use. Do you happen to have another one? No. Why would I carry two sending stones? I don't fucking know, dude. I'm Probably not an enchanter later. either, unfortunately. Um. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I'll just pair the sending stone that I have with him. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, use this to contact me if you need to find us. And, uh, yeah, hope to see you soon. Right. Well, good luck with overthrowing an entire empire. Oh, appreciate it. Fuck We're going to need it. <laughs> right. <laughs> he goes and finds you. Okay. Do you guys know what you're doing? It's becoming clearer and clearer by the day that we don't. Right. Well, Uzel has my number. If you need to contact me, um, currently emergencies only. Alder's really yeah. ready. Yeah, so it's t that time of the year. It is. Yeah. Um, he doesn't get it often. Good luck. You too. Don't let the association figure out it's you. I don't want to get in trouble over that. No. I don't really want them following me around anymore. Right. Good. I will see you in the foreseeable future. Yeah, he heads out. Dope. All her swoops down, lands on his shoulder. Off into the sunset, for the time being. Mm -hmm. Families come, airing grievances, crying. How much money do you give them? How, much, how many families are there? Uh, there's about 45 families okay. in totality. Something like that. Like 45, man, yeah. It was so cool of us. It was pretty dope. But... <laughs> Yo, I have gold too. <clears throat> oh, how much you want to pitch to this? I don't know how much you. How much were you thinking about pitching? So all of my spare gold divided between all of them. Oh shit! Okay. So at the moment, that's only twenty six gold pieces per person. Per per family. Okay. <laughs> per family? <laughs> how much gold do you have? Fuck. That's uh, eleven hundred. Oh goddamn. Oh yeah, almost twelve. I have 69 bucks. We gave you like 10 thou. No, yeah, I'm just saying that I'm gonna give him. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Hey, yeah, I picked this up off your dead husband. You can have it back, ma'am. Yeah. Cute as a memento. Oh, thing to do. Here's a little Shit. Keepsake I can't cordial. do anything right, can I? No! <laughs> okay. okay, so how much gold are we trying to pay? Or y'all trying to pay? I have 4,700 gold. That you're willing to give? I mean... How much are you willing to give? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> you want to just match and do the thousand? 
That's like 50 gold for everybody. That's more than enough for everybody to travel. I, like, okay, to so again. I think it depends on what we're trying to say to these people, right? So obviously it's like, yeah, we killed your husband, so I'm just like going to give you this hush money so that you don't hate us. Not... You know, that's what I'm saying. It's like, where where's the line? What, what's the level? You know, I could give everyone it like is... 100 gold. It... I have enough for that. But what are they going to think of us? Best I can do is... It is... Either way, we're shitbags. Yeah. I'm aware. Yeah. <laughs> so this is simply like I'm just going to tell them all, like I'm going to offer sincere apologies, regardless. Like I'm sure some of them don't want to hear it. Absolutely. But yeah. Surprisingly. It. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. What's the average wage that these people would make in a year? Uh, a guardsman. Yeah. yeah. Maybe six gold pieces. Fuck. Yeah, Jesus Christ. You yeah, so it's simply, it wasn't supposed to go down like this. We didn't want to hurt anybody that we didn't have to. And those men didn't need to die. And if you would like to stay, we'd love to have you. However, if you do not wish to stay, that's fully understandable. I would like to give you all that I can in order for you to start a new life somewhere else if you would like. And you shell out. Yeah, so I need numbers from people. Plus 69. 69. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, I'm willing to, uh, like, I'll, Don't I'll, rude. <laughs> I'll, I'll pitch <laughs> all of my gold, but I'm just, I'm wondering about what we're gonna need to like fortify the town or like the people that are remaining here. You don't here. have to do all of it. I think a thousand more gold, if you just give a thousand, mm -hmm. that will be about 50 gold pieces each. That is a good amount. Are you also giving some or? I'm asleep. So okay. are you going to come up and raid my pockets? Uh, you will so. find vomit and bindi straws. Vomit and bindi straws. So you're giving a thousand? So we would need 2250 to give each of them 50, each family 50 gold between us. So you're giving a thousand? Um, yeah. Okay. Unless we want to give them more. You said, I would love to give them more, but, mm -hmm. so you said 45? Yep. Families. Yeah. Look, if we ha if we want to give them like a hundred gold pieces each, um, and you're giving how much? Like a thousand? I'm have... giving one thousand one hundred ninety. Okay, so we I mean we would need like forty five hundred. So right now you've done enough to give exactly fifty. Yes. I think that's a that's a really good number. Fifty gold pieces for a peasant. That's amazing. It's fantastic. After we yeah, just that's... murdered their husbands and sons, so you know. Maybe a little bit more. Six gold so pieces. So that's like a year. the government walking like, up and being like, hey, I know that's why I'm died saying in war. Here's like two hundred thousand. Have fun. Right. I know like, that's why I'm saying it's like, I, I think fifty is good. It's like life insurance. All right. Well, it's not looking like I'm gonna get any more. So cool. Fifty. Fifty yeah. to each family. If they want to stay, they can. If they want to leave, they can. Two of the families don't even take the money. Oh, they, like, throw it back in your face and storm out. Yeah, don't blame them. Don't blame them. But most of them cannot pass up money like that and uh, take. They don't seem to tell you whether they plan on staying or not. That's fine. There's a obvious amount of time that's needed to think things over. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's not like they can really sell their real estate here anymore. All right, so <clears throat> we have more people coming now. You can sell them to them, but they probably don't have money. No. All right, so once that's all done, oh, also while that was happening, um, is there so where where would you say that this little meeting thing took place? Probably just outside the main bailey there's no necessary there, well there is the meeting hall over attached to the barracks okay well wherever this meeting was right before i told mark to situate himself somewhere that he could see all this yeah that obviously wasn't clear like right behind me because yeah God damn. hide but watch yeah okay so after they all leave i need to have a conversation with mark Okay. 
All right, listen. Oh, yikes. So, believe me, I understand that you're upset about your son dying. However, you need to realize that that was the king's doing and not the soldiers that are serving underneath him. All of those families that you just saw are experiencing the same thing that you did when your son died. Do you, uh, do you expect to kill the king and overthrow the government without killing any no, that's military not, men? No, that's not what I'm saying. We have, we have to do what we have to do, however the... And did you not expect when you put the two people on the most wanted board in town yelling and making a distraction that we would not be assailed? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the... And would you have wished for us to have been overrun? No. Instead of Derek showing up and, granted, getting some of the ones that were running away, but he did not seem um, in control of that. Yeah, however, the obvious pleasure that you take in killing these men kind of get, I'm, I'm going to need you to dial it back. Mm. Because again, all of these men have families. A lot of these men are serving, honestly, not within their own free will. So, yes, some of them will have to die. However, the inherent pleasure that you're taking in it and the, let's just say, overkill that I've seen you exhibit, we don't need that. I do not torture my targets. Well, at least there's that, right? And I'm going to leave. Yeah. He just kind of looks you up and down as you go. Okay. Next on the list. Has Raymond made it back yet, or is he still out? Uh, Raymond makes it back. We can say more towards the end of the day. Okay. New fortitude save. Yay! Maybe you can participate. <laughs> No, absolutely no. fucking not. Prop 15. No. <laughs> no. There's like a brief moment where you're like, yeah, and you just like head over to the bucket and then back. <laughs> yeah, Raymond makes his way back. Um, was it a joke that you sent me to investigate the town's defenses? <laughs> no. <laughs> Right, you are aware that the Western Wall is... Completely gone, yeah. Incomplete. Pretty much. My assessment... is that the city is not enclosed, and therefore defensively extremely weak. Okay. And the proper way to fix that would be to... construct the rest of the wall. All right, anything else? Oh, there's no real moat around the town, but that's not unexpected. The <laughs> Bailey so. Tower could use a little bit of work, seeing that the roof access is barely accessed at all. It doesn't even seem like they used it that much. There's only two small billet towers, one where the wall for the Bailey connects to the mod on the eastern side and one down at the far corner of the northeastern side, but um, they're in decent shape, just possibly not the only places you would need a tower. Where are we worried of enemies coming from? Um, so my initial assessment is that they would probably come from the north because that's where Ironshire and Ledshire are. Then so. perhaps the northwestern corner and with the Legion Wall just a mere week away to the east, perhaps the southeastern corner as well. Do you think they would try to pull troops away from the Legion Wall with the uh, 
orcs going there? They move troops frequently between the Legion walls. Uh, I spent time at many of the forts and at many in between places when I was still in. So it's not unlikely. Plus, there is, of course, the National Guard force that makes its way through most of the major towns and sometimes visits the Legion wall. And the Third Engineers Corps, led by Magister Uruk, that moves between places frequently as well as an entire Legion. Okay. This would probably be a National Guard level threat first. And I am unsure where they are positioned as I've been out for quite a little time. How many troops would you say the National Guard has that they could send at us? They're a half Legion strong, 2,000 men fighting. Uh, just about as many in support and a little over 500 in backup and supply wagons and stuff like that. Okay. In your time with, uh, with the military, how long do you think we have until we're going to be expecting company? Oh, here? Depends on how dire the survivors made it seem. But giving the rather nastiness of uh, the deaths had, I'd give us perhaps a month, maybe two. It is rather unfortunate that we're just getting into the nice weather, which is, of course, warring season. Okay. Well, sounds like we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Is that about a month? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Um, let's see. We got about uh, we got about twenty recruits who said they wanted to join. Would you mind starting to get them some simple training for now? I'm skilled in the drills. Okay. All right. Thank you. Of course. Um. Let's see. So, Grugnug and the Rabbit. <laughs> What do you I don't know what's happening right now. I don't know what's going on. What? <laughs> you don't want to know. Grugnug turns from his nest. Okay. Is, is the rabbit here? Uh, Kenosi and I were picking flowers. Okay, it, so it's, 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 it's pretty late in yeah. the day, so it, it should be about time that you'd yeah. be coming back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, starting, starting tomorrow, I need the two of you guys... To, so, Grugna, you can mm -hmm. do shit with the, uh, with the dirt. Uh, can you do anything with, like, cutting down and moving large amounts of trees? He kind of opens his book for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Grunt once for no, grunt two for yes. Do you speak any other languages? She just trust And I'll flip man. through all my languages. I have. <laughs> I fucking love Grugnug. He's one of my favorites. Let's see, which ones do I have? I got uh, Orcish, I got Common, campaign. I got Celestial, I got Abyssal, I got Dwarven, like and I got Undercommon. How do you check it's if so he speaks any of these? Do you just go like. I'll go through the entire list saying, you just, do you speak this in oh. all of the languages? Yo Every time he goes, Espanol. Okay. He says to all of them? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Well, we need, so you can turn to a badger, right? You dig. So can you start on constructing a moat around the town? Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess. Maybe yeah, I've can, never done that before, but I can. It's. Dig? A deep trench going all around the city. Okay. Think you can do that? You got any badger friends you can call on? Maybe. Blow your terrestrial Aquaman abilities. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know how a druid works. I've never played one. <laughs> Grugner's just like starting to side eye you a little bit more and he kind of looks at you like. Okay. Grugnug, mm. can you start? Breaking down some trees so we can try to start getting. Ooh, you might want to talk to Bartholomew about that. Well, Bartholomew's 
we're not going to be cutting down trees in his little area. Are you sh sure? Because he's, where, where is he at? Bartholomew? Because I think most of this area is his area. He sticks a little further to the east. If it's Zelly was away. If you can if you can do shit with stone easier, that'd be preferable. Sure, whatever can get us a large amount of stone in order to construct walls. Be much appreciated. Thank you. Okay. So... Is at this point that you hear a horrifying, rasping gasp. It's Ellie, you wake up! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Finally join the land of the living. Your vision is blurred. Your head is pounding. <laughs> you have a guess, by the way. And as I'll you go back look to over... Notes. She rolls over and begins to stir. There is a gnarly scar that goes down her nose Oof. and carries along her cheek. Other than that, she is whole. As she gazes upon you in utter confusion. I feel a mirror, I'm assuming. Yep. Shit, I thought that was a dream. Hi, Zuma. Uh. They made me gone go mad. Nope. They finally broke me. Nope. I'm telling them everything right now, probably. Nope. If I'm dreaming, why are you here? Oh! <laughs> Fuck you! Yikes! Well, baby, oh, I just saved your ass! Oh, it's You, <laughs> you just saved my ass. She gets up in the bed now. Covered in flowers. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Kenosi yeah. jumps in between the both of you and goes like, <laughs> and he starts juggling. And she just like looks and she's like, I. This I'm is definitely Kenosi. crazy. He's great. That's a fact. Where am I? Uh, I don't remember. Where are we? Braunshire. Braunshire. Who are these people? Oh, they're. Friends? Yeah. Co-workers? Of who? Yeah. Acquaintances? Associates? Of mine. Associates? Business partners? Partners in crime? We what like business? Bar together? Definitely partners in uh, crime. I believe that. Would you? Would you believe that? Well, I believe that they own a bar and keep you as a mascot. Uh, I just sold my soul for you. Okay? Literally. She literally did that. She did. She signed the blood and everything. To Come. get me out of prison. Yeah, and fix your fucking face, Scaro. She like reaches up and No. No. And starts feeling and she feels for her eye and just like <sighs> What happened? Fuck if I know. I just got told that you got captured and sent to Silvershire, so I signed a contract with the Death God and got you brought here and fixed your face. You spoke to a god. This not the first time. Nor the last. Nor the last. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I wasn't a good huntress, but I'm good at this. S speaking to Death Gods and selling your soul. Among other things. <laughs> <laughs> you there, fetch me some water. You can go fuck yourself, small child. I'm gonna go back to my notes. <laughs> you might want to deal with that one. I'm sorry, she's kind of a bitch. So we've heard. So you haven't even claimed. Are these free men that you're associated with? <laughs> Love it. Yeah, yeah, they, they are. It's not ideal. Who keeps them? <sighs> Mostly they keep themselves. Sometimes Kenosi helps. Kenosi just finishes his little juggling routine. 
<laughs> as the rings disappear. As I'm scribbling notes, as far as I know, as far as I remember, uh, Gnosis only really saved yours and the rabbit's life. <laughs> it's strange that animals are going to be, are so near you. These ones are special. Took some time. I'm not hallucinating. She like pinches herself a little bit. No, she, no need. Oh. <laughs> uh, Thirty to hit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, easy hit. Bitch slap. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> right across the face, and she just looks flabbergasted at that. Looks up at you, and just for a brief moment, you see like a lip quiver in a tear form, but then the stony face reforms. How dare you? You don't have the station to slap me. I got kicked out, so I hold no station and I do whatever the fuck I want. So why'd you bring me here? You wish to torture me too, then? No, you were gonna die. I was helping you. God, you're such a little shit. It's can, I, can I just do something nice for you? When has that happened? You are always evil to me! I was just trying to be no not piss off moms! I was evil to you? The nicest thing you ever did for our family was leave. This is what I'm talking about! Ooh. Where was the niceness in that? Grogonug is currently rolling on the floor laughing. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. Probably grab like some beer or something. Maybe come back. Uh, Y'all can deal with this. You, free man. Before you leave, where do you hail from? Okay. The Great White North. Mm. Our people have relations. Are you aware of our customs? Mostly. What lands are we in? Mad Kings. Are we closer north or south? Closer to the south. South. Bronshire specifically. I stake a claim of marriage upon you. <laughs> Already married. Oh. To whom? I will uh, go on ahead and succeed any challenge that she proposes now. <laughs> it's kind of a little bit more complicated than that. Oh, she's not present to defend her title. Oh. <sighs> you know. We could get into that later. I'm gonna come back with beer. Yes, you will. Thank you, though. <laughs> <laughs> At least someone knows how to get things done around here. You can't just stake claims on marriages on my friends. Yes, I can. No, you can't. I'm a full-blooded huntress. I don't care. You said they were free men. Right, dibs. Dibs on all of them. So you're challenging my claim for the tall blonde one? Actually, I don't really know him that well. I don't, I don't care that much. I'm just, I have brown hair. Oh, brown? Yeah. <laughs> Do you just, can we just take you home so I don't have to deal with you anymore? That would be preferred. Great. We'll leave when we leave. Hang out here. Don't cause trouble. Great. I'll try not to get in your way. Perfect! It's my town! Hey, guys. I got the ale. Awesome. Thank you. You Chase probably... <laughs> Sorry, it's just a little strong. Probably... She is still 15. She's been drinking short beer still. Chug it. <laughs> yeah. Smash the bottle on the ground in front of her. Establish dominance. Best cure for a hangover. You are grotesque. You have a scar on your face. Damn. She quivers a little bit more at that one. Nice. This <laughs> is do you wish for this conversation to continue? It was painful. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, stay here. I have things to do. Or else. Do you leave? Yeah. I don't know where I go. I just you wanted just out of the room. Go to the bar or something. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna, like, I'm around. gonna follow you downstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna follow you too. Uh, yeah, please, no. before you go. Oh, uh, yeah, boy. Um... Those traps that we set up around, yeah, uh, not quite. Yeah, what Are about? able to draw those up into plans? Draw them up in plans? Yeah, I can draw. <laughs> All right. I do have the ability to write I and do. read. I am literate. Okay. <laughs> Barely. Believe it or not. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> 15 intelligence. I 
are the ones who cannot read or write, so it's fine. Grognard, you like right. just regained his composure, starts flying again. Okay. If you could do, if you could do that for me, make up those, make up those plans. That'd be great. Oh, Grognard, a little. Uh, it's like I'm uh, rolling the intelligence uh, score anyway. <laughs> In your little book of tomes, do you have any uh, any plans for traps or better ways to build defenses? Anything of that nature? Yeah. Awesome. Would you be able to Would you be able to share that knowledge with us? Transcribe those into common or in a language that somebody can speak. That way, we can get these plans done. <laughs> all of his books and, stuff. And, then, and, then, and then he's like, oh, I gotta get all this stuff done. <laughs> he walks out. Nice. Thanks. Um, yeah, and I'll... Uh, no, you cannot transcribe spells into common. Okay. Oh, well, so they're, all right, so they're spells, but I can... Uh, what's it called? I can read magic, so if he can... Me a you didn't tell him you were a caster at all. <laughs> He's just... Okay. Well, me and awesome. them are just um, I'm going to go time. through the uh, the rest of the night, going through the paperwork that they have um, in the Bailey, see if there's any important information concerning just everything going on in the Mad King land, as well as like specific information on like the city itself. All right. Over the course of the night, all the gals uh, attempt to introduce themselves. That's fine. I'm avoiding. Oh, you know what I, I, I know what I want to do. What do you want to do? Instead of just wandering around aimlessly because I don't want to be in the room, mm -hmm. I go to Joanna's bakery and see if she's stayed. Yeah, she's there. She's there? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Seems to be acting like just about nothing happened. Hi. She goes, ah, hello. Don't expect just because you own the town now that you can bake goods for free. Oh, I definitely not. I, I literally came in to purchase a cherry cake. Um, I always have one on stock now just for you guys. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, oh, baller. Thank you for staying. Thank Why wouldn't I? I? This is not just my business. I live here. Yeah. Of course. Um, I'm gonna take. And I don't know how much money you believe a baker has, just kept in her sock drawer, but uh, it's not a staggering. Well, I'm sure you know everything that's happened. I would hope. Mm -hmm. Um, and I know that there's not a lot of customers anymore, probably for Ouch. a little bit. So uh, <laughs> I would like to make a charitable donation just to keep you afloat for a little bit, because I appreciate how many carrot cakes you've made for me. That's all right. Are you sure? My husband's business brings in plenty. Are you hey, sure? Who the fuck is her husband? He's a tailor, right? No. No, those know. are the tailors. I don't fucking remember. Not you don't know. know. No, never we've never asked her, yeah. No. Yeah. Who's your husband? Oh. Don't worry about it. Excuse me? Sus. It's Jeff. He does a lot of out-of-town work. Oh, okay. Um... Well, if you're set, then you're set. Uh, thanks for the cherry cake. Of course. Bye. Anytime. Have a wonderful night. I go back. That old lady's gonna kill us. To uh, the room. She's married to someone. Yeah. Important. <laughs> it seems. It seems that most of the girls have taken to her rather fast. She has put on her charming persona that you are all too familiar with, and is currently regaling them with war stories. Um, I walk in with the cherry cake. Yeah, you walk in with the cherry cake and immediately you're just met by like, Rita mostly being like, oh my god, your sister's so cool. Uh, my cherry cake. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> cherry cake. <laughs> you know what you should do? Just drink. I don't feel well. 
But you won't know that if you're drunk. Um, yeah, so I guess... I walk back in. Yeah? You, you do continue to come back in? <laughs> yes. I had a moment. Your sister looks at you with just, like, the sweetest look on her face ever and goes, And there's my dearest sister. And Oh, she brought treats for us. Look at that. I make sure to cut enough pieces that she is left out. All the girls but Adara, like, turn their head to you. <laughs> Perfect. Kenosi gets her piece, like, or, like a bigger piece. The one that should have been cut into two pieces for each of them. It's just yeah. Kenosi. It just yeah. gives to Kenosi. Yep. Yeah, you, you distribute out, and, uh, and Caroline kind of, like, looks awkwardly back and forth as you guys kind of have this little tense moment, and she just cuts her piece in half and gives her half of hers to Zuma. Is there a roll I can make to stop that? You could just you could smack it. Say so. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, really. <laughs> oh. oh my let it happen. <laughs> yeah. She goes, Oh, thank you, sorry. My sister must just be forgetful right now. Yeah, that's what it is. Forgetful. I just go slow in the corner. Yeah. Anything else for the night, guys? Um, I mean, Hazel asked me to start digging moats, so that's what I'm going to be spending my time doing because this human drama is beyond me. It's, it's going to, I've built up a lot of compassion for humans, and this is just going to drop it, so I'm going to stay far away from that. Eventually, Grugnug comes out to join you. So however much I can dig for the moats in a day, I'll just, uh, I'm doing that. Yeah. You're going to have to tear up a good chunk of the road. But roads can Who be moved. Roads? <laughs> well, now you're starting to sound like a zone. <laughs> and I mean, is the road paved or is it? There's there's some cobblestone on the top, coming out of like the gate for the first little bit, going over towards like the exquisite Esquitarian and stuff. So but I the could most potentially. Part, it's just a dirt. Okay. It's so not bad. Any of like the cobblestone, I could potentially like collect and use for like a stone shape to put as part of the wall of somewhere else. Yeah, and Grubnug will help you out with cool. that. He doesn't seem to be interested in, like, physically moving anything, though. Uh -huh. It seems like if he doesn't have a spell to cast, he's yeah. just kind of chilling. Just hanging out. That's fine. He's got a stick that he really seems to be liking. He's mm -hmm. got a very fine knife, and he is currently whittling around on that. Uh, seems to be shaping it very deliberately. Mm -hmm. And, uh... When you guys awaken in the morning... It'll be one day to Adara's birthday. Hey! Sure will. Something we can all agree on, a party needs to happen. <laughs> did uh, yeah. did I find any documents of note in my night of searching? Um, you're searching that upstairs area and everything? Yeah, upstairs area. I mean, hell, I'll cast another keep watch and just trudge along through. Just there, going is, through. there is in the uh, jail cells, there is that trap door that nobody's gone down yet to some kind of underground story. Yeah, after I'm done looking for documents, I'll take a peek at that. Yeah, it, uh... I already dealt with all the prisoners, by the way. I noticed. Gotcha. Yeah, there's, like, sizably less. Gotcha. Uh, you enter down along. below, and uh, going around and through, it opens up into a <coughs> large chamber, splitting off in five different directions. Hmm. There are a couple of racks and one large chest. The chest is flung open, and there's a little trail of gold pieces going from the chest down one of the tunnels. I'll go that way. Uh, you follow it down. It eventually re leads to another trap door. You open up. It is right behind Voodoo Ranger Brewery to the north of town. Hmm. I don't see anybody. Nope. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Okay, well, I'll go back down. Uh, and there are just things on the shelf. Uh, it doesn't seem to be any kind of paperwork. Okay. What sort of things? Is it just like an armory sort of deal or just uh, a stock there, room? There's a small, like, armory and stock room with some crates and stuff over the side. But these very deliberate couple shelves, there's three, four of them. Just kind of random stuff, it seems. Nope. 
Nothing he was prepared for. What do you, uh, how do you search oh, it? Prepared. Just cursory glance. Like if uh, I just a bunch of things. Yeah, if it looks if it looks like something is like I'll like Should go I? through it all, but like if it looks like something's being covered by something else, I'll like lift it up and check underneath. Yeah, it. you just... lift up. There's like a there's a little box inside this purple candle. Okay. Oh. There's just uh, some hodgepodge things. There's oh, a hat. Do I detect magic? You detect shitloads of magic. Okay. Because right. these are all confiscated magic items. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Dope. We like that. Yeah. We will roll for those items next time on that key. Oh, Kisa was wondering oh, what. Oh boy. Uh, shoot. What are the, what are these? There's there's a bunch of different ones. There's Logitech there, and that's yeah. just um, I think that's a 1080p. That's a wide view Logitech. This is. Uh, are we still hot right now? Yeah. This is a fucking something. I don't even remember what this is, and we've got a uh, we got a Canon M50 that we don't use right now. That's my nice camera that we're hoping to turn into like an on-table cam later. Yep. We're not very tech savvy here, <laughs> but we're cameras. trying. We bought some cameras. We put them up. Bought some cameras. Bought some camera mounts and a bunch of wires to go to my computer.